Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Khalif and I'm back with another video. So today, my boy is being promoted from Master Sergeant to Master Gunnery Sergeant. And it's a good day. I've known Devin and for about eight years now. When I was still in the Navy, he and I was stationed here in Japan together before. And he was a gunny sergeant and he had just picked up gunny. Fast forward to today and he's putting on master gunnery sergeant. So it's a big day for him and his family. I'm extremely happy for them and proud of him. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys to the uh, promotion ceremony. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere, this should be pretty interesting. All right, I'm with my man, Thav. About to go get promoted. How you feeling, son? I'm good, I'm good. Nervous, but I'm good. Bless, bless. Yeah, yeah, we here. It's been a long time coming. I was telling him earlier, we've known each other for what, about seven, eight years now? Yeah, more than that. More than that? 10 years old. Yeah, it has been about 10 years. Yeah, yeah, 10 years. So yeah, we known each other for a minute, so. When he got here, he was a staff sergeant, put on gunny shortly thereafter. Came back as a master sergeant. Now he's about to put on master guns. That's yeah. definitely a blessing. So God's plan. God's plan. So say something to the people. Say something to the people. Say something to the people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll cut you guys back on in a minute once the ceremony starts.
everybody, please bring it in. Bring it in. Take a moment to um, to talk on behalf of the newest Master Guard Sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, my time being here, this has been the one individual that I knew I could go to for any advice, guidance, any assistance, and I knew all I had to do was ask him one time and it was gonna be taken care of. He is, I, I like to call him like the, the godfather of Evil Cooney because of how many people <laughs> I mean like, if you need anything, this is the man that you go to to ask about because he knows who to speak to, who to go get it, and the ways to get it. And some of those ways, you're like, Master, or, or Master Guns, are you sure? You're like, yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it. And it's legal, it's legal. <laughs> but I can tell you right now, uh, I haven't served with another individual like him. I've had the honor of serving with many great staff NCOs, and Master Gunner Sergeant Thevenin is one of those top individuals. And not only has he made the Marines and Sailors of MCAS Iwakuni better every time he interacts with them, he's made me better as an officer and as a man. And I've learned so much from this individual right here. So I am I am beyond honored to be the one to promote him to the rank of Master Gunnery Sergeant. This is something I'll always remember. And Master Gunnery Sergeant Stephanie, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you and all that you've uh, provided, not for the six, not just for uh, S3, HNHS, but the Iwakuni community as a whole. So please just round of applause for Master Gunnery Sergeant Stephanie. My favorite poet, Sean Carter, aka JB, <laughs> aka Brooklyn Zone. You could have been anywhere in the world today, but you're here with me this morning. I really appreciate it. Colonel Lewis, thank you for coming out. Lieutenant Colonel Hutchinson, thank you. Sergeant Major Garotti, Sergeant Major Cedeno, Captain Jacobs, love you. And everybody else in the crowd of civilians, Marines, contractors, GS workers, MLCs, thank you for coming out today. First things first. I'd like to thank God for this day. Without him, none of this is possible. Regardless if you believe in him or not, none of this is possible. So, thank you, God. Speaking of Heavenly Fathers, I'd like to thank my father of above. Today's his 71st birthday. God bless you, Pop. I love you. Happy birthday, King. Um, and to my mom. My mom, she'll probably see the videos afterwards. Thank you, Mom, for always being there. Regardless of what decisions I made, regardless of... How many times you wanted me to come home and retire and go back home? I'm still here. Um, next, but not least, to my wife. Thank you, baby. I love you so much. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> believe, it, believe it or not, this was supposed to be a retirement ceremony. <laughs> so before we came, we got on this plane to come to the I'm like, hey. I'm going to do three years, <laughs> mind my business, lay low in the words of Paul Levin. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go about my business. It was, it was a good time. So, but she motivated me. She was there for me. Regardless of how many PCS moves you were on, multiple deployments, multiple SDAs. Whenever I left, I didn't have to worry about it because she had it. So uh, thank you, baby. I love you for that. To my kids. Kaylina, Anaya, and Eliana, thank you for being that inspiration that I needed. Thank you for giving me purpose. Thank you for making me a better man and making me a better Marine. I love you. You know how I feel about you guys. Love you too. To my mentors, to the ones that couldn't be here today, to the Marines that poured so much into me, I want to thank them. Like I said before, they'll probably see the video afterwards. I would not be here without him. That's the main reason why I invited everybody here. I would not be here without him, right? There was a time, I wouldn't call it adversity. It was just shift, move, and do better things. Somebody thought I didn't rate to be the comp chief of S6. So they moved me to S3. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Hutchinson. Thank you, Sergeant Major Lopez, who's not here today. 
the Exos, Major Jordan, he's out here today, and they didn't crap on me when I got up there. They just, hey, it was business as usual, and I, I did what I was supposed to do, and I kept moving. So just remember, for the ones in the crowd, sometimes people might think they bury you, but they just plan you somewhere else for you to grow. So keep that in mind. Um, to my S6 and Third Network Battalion family, Mr. DePiro, Mr. Simpson, Paul Evans, Mr. Cooper, Mr. Jeffries, I could go on and on. Everybody that's out here, first time, thank you for coming. Everybody that's out here, thank you for making my job so much easier. Thank you. I, regardless of what I asked you, people might think I made it happen, but it was all you guys. People don't realize how much calm means until their phone don't work, <laughs> until their laptop don't work. God forbid we in combat, the commander cannot communicate. Then they realize how important cop is. So thank you. Thank you for being there for me. Uh, to the Marines in the crowd, like, um, there's a reason why I chose Sergeant Major St. Daniel and Captain Jacobs to be my board officers. When I came in, I came in a while ago, 1999. Might not seem a lot to some of you guys, but it was nice before. But there was not a lot of people that looked like me. So you just had to figure it out on your own. And then eventually you found somebody that looked at you. And just because that person never had that one-on-one -on -one conversation with you, doesn't mean they can't expire. Prime example, 430 when my knees wasn't bad, I'll be able to see well, you would always see Colonel Lewis on the team. It'll be 0 4 30, you can't even see. You got work oh, good morning, sir. And you always on the seat wall. We'll have a few ins and outs, but stuff like that motivates you. Lieutenant Colonel Hutchinson, when he came in here, a breath of fresh air, right? Just the way he moves, his swagger is on a million. You feel like whenever you talk to him, you feel like he's the most important person you are talking to. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. I remember that one conversation we had when I was up late. I don't know what I was, I think I was doing a COVID roster and you sat in that chair and you was like, Master, I'm still trying to wonder why you up here. <laughs> and me and you had that same question, so I said, I still was wondering why I was up there. But like I said before, it's God's plan. It's not my plan, it's God's plan. I didn't get here by myself. If I said I did, I'll be lying to you. To everybody else that felt like I touched, Lance Cooper Watson, Miss Paloma, I know you didn't like the way I changed everything when I got the S3, but it was for the better being. Everybody that's out here, thank you. You inspired me too. Uh, sometimes, even though you've been in for a while, it gets monotonous, it gets old, and you need people to inspire you. And just because we don't have that one-on-one -on -one conversation doesn't mean you're not inspiring somebody. Just by you being there. Dependability, right? That's one of our leadership traits. Just by you being there and showing up, and having a smile on your face. It's not that serious. Put a smile on your face. Yes, we're killers, but we're in garrison. So, um, <laughs> like I said before, um, to the recruits that I've trained, to the candidates, to the midshipmen, to the people that I've touched, the people that led me, thank you, God bless you. You could have been anywhere in the world, like I said before, but you're here with me, I appreciate it. Love you all, God bless you, good morning. <laughs> So now we're back in the office. <laughs> Ceremony's done. How's it feel, Master Guns? That feels great. It feels great. I got to change the chevron. I got this right here. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. Thank you for coming out. God's plan, like I told you before. Love you all. And with that, we out. Peace. We out. We out.